Walmart and China. I like time. being in Minnesota because there's not a lot of coloreds there, you know. That's why I was governor there. <laughs> See, yeah, let's see what the first thing he says in the book is. Start out by explaining the title of this book for those readers who might not be familiar with the Crips and the Bloods. Okay, that's not a great start. Oh, yeah, no, there's a lot of... You want to hear some chapters? Give me something to read. <laughs> and that's right. I'll use some chapters. Gang warfare, Democrats versus her blood lickings. Gang. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> oh, God, really what am I going to even do? <laughs> gang, gang warfare, Democrats versus Republicans. <laughs> you can't even read it. <laughs> what the founders said and did. That's chapter two. What the founders said and did. Okay. <laughs> you sound like Richard. <laughs> chapter three. <laughs> the natural order of things today. You know, the natural order of things today <laughs> has to do with the Divic Crips and the Rep Bloodikins. <laughs> Blood lickins. <laughs> There's I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip to some good names. Um <laughs> running for office, super Pac-Man. Running for office, super Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Obama like Pac-Man, get it? But it's a super pack, because it's money pa imagine Pac-Man eating money. <laughs> That's what's ruining our country. The Obama administration. It's a super pack man. The Obama administration. You know, when I was in the SEALs, we had to take down a super pack <laughs> <laughs> It was in Guatemala, and they called in <laughs> us, the frogmen. <laughs> it had killed 20 children that summer in 84. And we had a good trade relationship with Guatemala, so we went in and killed it. <laughs> How'd you kill it, Jesse? With knives. Only knives. We couldn't. It was a very 